Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to Throne Room Talks, where I'm just going to keep on talking, and you can keep on listening if that's what you like to do. Well, today, I am just been thinking of randomly, um, <laughs> what my mom used to tell me when I was a kid, every time I would have supernatural encounters or visions or dreams, she would always would say to me, Micah, go back to your room, go back to your bedroom and tell Jesus thank you. She would tell me that all the time. You see, what would happen when I would have these, um, these dreams or these visions or these encounters, I would, um, I would go to my mom, wake my mom up sometimes, uh, you know, wake her up in the morning or uh, in the middle of the night, you know, and uh, she would sit up and sometimes her hair would be all over the place, but you know, cause she was just waking up and half asleep. Okay, okay. You know, and I was like, mommy, I had a dream. Mommy, I had a vision. Mommy, I saw this. And she would get a piece of paper and she would, a red ink pen, and she would write down the visions I would see or the uh, dreams I would have or what I felt like I heard God say. And, you know, there were three major things I learned, maybe three, maybe there's four. Well, let's see what I come up with from, from that. But some things that I really learned uh, from, from my, watching my mom and, and, and her being involved and listening to my visions and my dreams and, and encounters was that she taught me the importance of recording. Uh, every time I would come to her, uh, she made it a value to grab a piece of paper and a pen, and she would write them down. And as she would write them down, I would notice how ideas and revelation would come to her from just writing things down. And she would tell me, Micah, when you write things down, more, more will come to you. There's always more Holy Spirit is wanting to teach you. So that was instilled in me watching her, um, you know, write uh, the encounters down. Another thing that she would always tell me was, Micah, you know, go back to your room and tell Jesus thank you. Tell him that you really enjoyed the dream, that you really enjoyed the vision, that you really enjoyed the encounter. And that taught me how to be thankful, you know, to always express gratitude for the things God gives you. You know, even if you feel like it's not as epic as, you know, other people's revelations. Honestly, guys, you shouldn't really be comparing your revelations and your encounters and dreams and visions with other people, you know, uh, for legitimacy. You know, you should, you should share your encounters and dreams for out of a place of joy, not out of a place of trying to be significant or be, you know, uh, or to have purpose, you know. My mom taught me that having gratitude and thanking the Lord always opened up uh, room for more to come. And so I literally did that. I went back to my room and would say thank you to Jesus and that I wanted more and I really enjoyed the vision. I enjoyed the encounter. You know, even being as a little kid, Jesus, I thank you for more. And then I would get up, you know, and <laughs> and go do, you know, what a kid normally would do. So, yeah, she taught me to uh, value the encounter and record them. You get more out of it. And to express gratitude, you know, to, to the Lord. Always. And that's something that you can do with your kids is... Teach them how to value the way God is speaking to them. Not once did my mom try to, um, you know, try, you know, she didn't once make it a weird thing that I had visions and dreams and saw things. She never made, she never made me feel weird. She taught me how to really love it, how to really love my gift. Now I understand that. I was incredibly blessed to have parents, a family that received, you know, my my gifts, and not every family is like that. And I, you know, that's 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 hard. I recognize that. Not every person was uh, received 
you know, in their families. But if you have kids or nieces and nephews, you can really train them or teach them how to enjoy the way God is speaking to them. You know, if it was a cycle in your own house, you know, growing up where, you know, your family thought you were crazy, doesn't have to be the same thing to happen in this new house that you have. If you have kids, you don't have to repeat the cycle that your parents did with you. Instead, you can create new memories, create new traditions. You know, it was a tradition. It was a constant. Even when I was 16, 15, 16, 17, I would um, go to my mom and say, Mommy, I want to share with you my visions. And she would come to me and sit down and we would sit for an hour, sometimes longer. And she would just listen to me, listen to me share. Share my visions and, and dreams and ask me questions. And it was cool because the Lord had confirmed to her a lot of things that she was asking him about. He would tell her things that I was going to say before I came to her sharing the vision or the encounter. You know, she would, um, she would hear it before then and that was confirmation. You know, later on, she did tell me that she would say a prayer. Oh, Lord, please, please guide my son. Please. I don't want him to end up being crazy. I don't want him to end up being crazy. I remember her. She told me she would pray that. And the Lord would comfort her. Because, you know, guys, in all reality, my my mom, my whole family was prophetic um, in different ways. But they didn't always have a grid of, you know, the supernatural things that, I was uh, talking about. They needed confirmation, and God was good to give them that confirmation. Super cool, right? So, you know, what you can teach your children, even if you don't fully have the answers for their gifts, you know, even if you're like, I don't know how, I don't know how to really communicate to my son or daughter about these extraordinary visions they're having just remember that they are your child and the Lord has given you everything you need to raise them the Lord has given you everything you need to raise them don't let the enemy come to your mind thinking oh, you, you don't know you you got a crazy son and daughter you, you don't know you don't know what you know they're talking about you know the the main wonderful thing that my mother, even my dad did. I'll talk about my dad hopefully maybe today or maybe I'll talk to him in another uh, episode. But um, one thing about my mom that was incredible was she asked me questions, you know, and she always had a heart to learn. She always had time to learn. She was my mother and she had wisdom. But there were things that she didn't know and she was willing to learn. Sometimes she would have her own journal and I would see her write in the journal some of the things that I said that she learned. Isn't that cool? And so what that taught me was that I should always have a, a teachable spirit. Be willing to learn that you don't know everything you never will know everything. Only God knows everything. So, yeah, I'm, my mother was awesome. She still is awesome. You know, now I'm preaching and teaching and, uh, you know, doing all kinds of cool stuff. And I see my mom in the audience just grinning and learning and taking notes. And, you know, she leads a prophetic intercession intercessors group at my church. And, uh, she always tells me, I'm under your leadership. I'm following you. But, you know, I would not be where I am if she just not, if she did not teach me the things that she knew, the things that she could teach me. That turned my prophetic gift into an incredible blessing to the body of Christ. So moms, mothers, if you have a supernatural kid, 
a prophetic kid, a seer, a kid whose head is always in the clouds, who has dreams and visions, just know that you are so valuable and your child needs you. Your child needs your insight. They need your listening ear because just by you listening and being part of their world, they want you in their world. They want you in the world they're seeing. They will turn into incredible, powerful people. Just by you listening, by you giving them wisdom where you can, and by learning the things that they're learning. Cool. All right, guys. That was fun. All right, I'll talk to you later.